I would build schools and hospitals instead of churches, Obi Kubana. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Bilona businessman and club owner Obi Kubana is one of the most successful businessmen in Nigeria. The 46-year-old Bilonia became popular after his mother's lavish burial ceremony went viral last year. Yes, nobody knows. Um, nobody will say he or she does not know Obi Kubana immediately after that. In fact, before the burial and after the burial, people like me, I never heard of Obi Kubana until then. And since then, he has been making waves on the internet. But this is ideology. Sincerely, I support it with 10 bottles of... In fact, did I say bottle? 10 cartons of champagne, sir, for you. This is it. Yeah. You build schools, you build hospitals. Mm -hmm. Hospitals will employ people, schools as well will employ people. People will get educated, people will get treated. You know, it's a win win. Sincerely. Yes, it is actually, in fact, sir, I support this your ambition, you know. I support this your um use of style. Church will yes, church is good, yes, but sincerely we have to know that there is time for praying, there is time for walking, there is time for everything. Even the Holy Bible itself said there is time for everything. The news in detail, please stay with us. Some hours ago the popular businessman was live on Instagram with Daddy Freeze. During the live broadcast on Instagram, Obi Kubana said that he would rather build schools and hospitals for his people instead of building churches. He also explained that the church he built at his hometown last year was never his intention but that of his late mother. Do you really think that building schools and hospitals will be more useful to the society than building churches? Kindly let us know what you think in the comment section. Okay, yeah. Let me tell you it is... Uh, at the end of the day, some people will start some assaulting over this particular comment. You know now, after the day, there are people who I would describe as very, very special kind of people. You see them commenting in ways that you cannot comprehend. But after, after all, it is actually their opinion. So you cannot actually ask them not to, you know, give the opinion. On this particular issue, like I said, I support with 10 cartons of champagne, but I want to scratch that and say I, I support with 100 cartons of champagne. Sincerely, he, it's, it's the right thing to do. If he's going to be building school, I, I'm guessing that, I'm second guessing that he's actually, he was actually asked a question and that is why he gave this particular answer. I don't believe he'll just wake up and say this. But if you look at it, both of them, are, as in his, his intentions are actually good. Why? Because an hospital at the end of the day will be doing like the goal. It will be like using one particular you know, stone to kill a lot of birds in the bush. First of all, you are going to build a hospital after building it. You are going to need workers in the hospital. Doctors will be employed. Nurses will be employed. Cleaners will be employed. You know, uh, you know how these things happen. Maybe there's a lab there. People who studied lab science, lab and medical lab science will be employed. A lot of people. You take some people off the street. And then people now get to be treated. You are providing job opportunities. And you're also providing health care. Is that not beautiful? Good. If you are building a school also at the same time, or maybe later... At the end of the day, what do you get? People will get to come and impact knowledge on people. They impact knowledge, number one, and they are also employed. Can't you see it's very beautiful? While I'm not saying prayer is not good, sincerely, it is not my opinion. I mean, it is not my, I cannot come out and say that. But there are things we need to tell ourselves. We need to start telling ourselves the truth. We don't need to be too religious, and at the end of the day, it does not take us anywhere. Build industries for the people to work. Food is more important. Okay. Let me say this. Building industries for the people to work. Building industry. I do not think it is a capital person project. Well, what do I know? But he is also going to be creating jobs with this. He already said. Of course, the industry is not a bad idea. Except that I don't know how it is being done here. 
the free are very essential to human development. Therefore, if your mind supports any, please do. Okay. We always like to talk anyhow. Questions were asked during the interview and he answered. Let truth be told. We don't need churches. We need schools, hospitals, and businesses. Churches everywhere. Exactly. And evil are multiplying or is multiplying on a daily basis. Sometimes I ask myself, why? We're building more churches and yet it is becoming to get the society growing more darker and deeper into, into, as in, into immorality. The height of things happening these days. Sincerely, it did not happen many years back. But as we take care of physical, okay. Build a company, you say I have a lot to do, and I want you to be richer than Bill Gates. <laughs> oh my God, dude. people will not kill me. With his money, they are telling him what to do with his money. <laughs> people are really dragging him and seeing Nigeria here. Our problem is number one, we are too sentimental. Number two, we are too religious. We are religious than religion itself. How bad? Yeah? Of course, you should know that if someone comes out and makes such a statement, it is either that he's been asked or his opinion was asked or he maybe he was asked in an interview. Of course, he can't just come out and make such statements. Ha, ah, I'm not you know, like in the Busky way, will. People like fights. Ha! Ah. Ideally, the church does not need some money but a salvation because building churches without surrender. Oh my goodness. Sincerely? Really? Ha. Our problem is not the words, but the deeds. Exactly. We do not la lack where to worship at all. But the messages coming out from houses of worship are far from the truth. You can say that again. You can say that again. You can say that again. Sincerely, we should be less sentimental in this our country and tell ourselves the truth. It will help us more. In fact, we'll go further. But if you keep up with this attitude of, oh, um, you, you know, no, you don't want to be trust. You don't. Want, uh, uh, at the end of the day, what will happen will still happen. Eh? The desires that will tell us the truth. People who are going to gain from this, there are more. People will be treated, and at the same time, as they are being treated, people will actually be paid for their work. They will get jobs. The same thing when it applies to the hospital, and the same thing applies to school. Okay. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.